Hello and welcome to Haybeams Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We got our 15th win on our last run. Had a little bit of a sketchy start with getting down to one soul heart, but we had the D100 and were able to get out of that scenario. And yeah, um, hopefully going to go for win number 16. So let's jump on into this. Seed for today, 7W22AJJD. Starting off with the Prism, um, Mr. Me. Um, er, yeah, Mr. Me and no trinket, uh, but a pill. Uh, I'm probably not going to take it. Um, we have pretty decent tiers at 10, above average movement speed, bad damage, and no red hearts. Um, if I can get a bomb here. I'm gonna just check. Man. So, <laughs> I can grab the lucky penny. That's pretty funny. Um, I was hoping that there would be a secret room there. It's kind of hard to tell with no, with no mapping, obviously, but the goal was to hopefully have it blow up that rock there, and then I'd be able to get that other money. We're not in the worst position right now. Um, you know, being at two soul hearts is not the scariest. Um, I've definitely had runs where I started off with one soul heart or even one red heart, and it can be really sketchy. We're getting sissy long legs again as our first item. Um, I mean, I love sissy, so I am A-OK -okay if the game wants to continue to give, give me sissy. That was pretty close right there. So, soon I gotta make a decision. I might use uh, Mr. Me to grab me this bomb for free. I think that is the move. So then I can use it to grab this tinted rock, essentially. Get another soul heart, thank you. And then I don't have to use, I'm gonna use that other bomb probably to get that nickel and other two cents. And then we'll check out the shop because we got keys and we'll have money and ooh man hard hard choice right here do we take f let's go see what's in the shop first if there's nothing good then I'll probably bomb that but got another soul heart <laughs> I don't know if there's a right or wrong option nice uh, silver dollar makes it so um, shops can spawn in the womb. This floor layout is pretty funny. I've never seen it before um, for this fight. Obviously, I want to take out this grub first, but... Man, you can see how bad our damage is. We are just taking forever to kill even those little silkworms wow that was insane cool I'm glad we got a health up so now I have to decide do I use the bomb here to get eight cents in a potential secret room I think that's the call. It's the move. I'm a little bummed about losing my Mr. Me. Sorry, that was, that was me not really speaking. Is there another bomb in here? Oh, there sure is. Yeah, this was the move. Definitely the move. I didn't even really think about that as a potential option, but kind of had a feeling it was going to be small rock. We do get a little bit slower, but damage up is hard to pass up. And yeah, we will keep on heading down. Pretty good first floor. Um, we got health, we got damage. We lost some movement speed, uh, but that's, you know, that's fine. Ah, 
another curse. Uh, curse of the dark. Curse of darkness. It's fine. Um, probably the least annoying out of all the curses. Actually, that's not true. Um, the one where you can't see your health. I'm not sure if that's curse of the unknown or what it's actually called. Take this. Basically, just an orbital that protects you from shots. I don't think it does contact damage, but still very, very good. It might. Couldn't tell right there. I think it does do contact damage, which is awesome. Let's find out. Really not sure if that's us or not. is the worst. Yeah. Especially with Curse of Darkness, I like couldn't see anything coming at me. Um. You actually don't want to be shooting out the fires like I'm doing, because they will um, do a lot of the work for you for taking out these, the flies in this room, but if they're, if they're red fires, you might want to. I'll use Mr. Me to check out the shop. We don't have enough money, but might as well use it to get in for free, you know. Uh, BFF. Interesting. I wonder if BFF will affect the uh, prism and my rib, the extra rib that we have for protection. If it does, I would seriously consider grabbing it. What just hit us there? I feel like I've been getting hit, hit by things and I just like <laughs> have no idea where they've been coming from lately. It happened last run too where I took damage in a room. I did I did rewatch the replay and there was a, a fly that shot at me, but still it was like super hard to see. trying to think what I want to do here. I'm going to use... Mr. Me has the potential to steal items from the shop, which is another thing I didn't even talk about, but... Oh, yeah. It also restocks it when you steal it, which is huge, and yeah, it looks like um, BFF did affect our prism and rib, and also Sissy got bigger. So, yeah, that's, that's dope. I think it was <laughs> a great move. And, yeah. I was really afraid that this champion was going to split around the other side. Um, that's really what you want to avoid. You want them all to follow you in the same direction so you don't get um, just flanked around, you know, <laughs> Pac-Man ghosted. But, yeah, it worked out all right. So hoping that maybe we'd get another another full charge, but you know, can't really complain. We are guaranteed to get a deal with the devil here, um, as long as I do not take <laughs> seven hits of damage or whatever it would be to to take a red heart hit. So I think we're we'll be okay. Especially against Monstro. We'll see if... Yeah, I don't think that the rib does any contact damage. So it's on offensive orbital. But still for defense, I'll take it. I think it's pretty good to have. Thank you, Monstro. A shot speed up. Cool. Another card. Uh, the lovers. I'll pop it in here. Holy moly. So we get uh, Abandon and Sacrificial Altar. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Mm. Well, really happy I took the lovers card in here. Hoping that he pays out on this next go. Wow. 
That's dope. Um, man. I think I take Sack Altar and I sacrifice Sissy. And we're going to take Abandon. It shouldn't kill me here. Would have been really, really mad if I if I had died on that. But no, we are looking super, super good now. We only got Contract from below, which is fine. I mean, it's not great. Um, we had Sissy last run, so I don't feel super bad about getting, getting rid of her. Ooh. Could use some flying. Definitely could use some flying. Okay. I'm just gonna grab this counterfeit penny right now. I think it'll. It does more for us right now. Hoping to get the secret room if possible. Actually, there's no way it could be there because that water in the room below us. It looks like it'll probably be up to the left right here. We do get fear shot from Abandon. Um, Abandon is a all stats up that takes away all your red hearts and gives you six black hearts. Um, it's pretty good. And the other item that we got was, wow, contract from below, which you see will double spawn consumables on the ground. But the trade-off is that you getting consumable drops on a floor is actually less likely, or it happens less. So that's the trade-off. So you're not always guaranteed to get double payouts because you have less of a chance. I think it's a pretty neat item. Um, there are times where I don't. I mean, it's fine, but there are times when it can be. It can really save you. I'll take it. It's fine, I guess. Um, double pill. Do not take damage in this room. For me to check this out. I probably should use a key, but whatever. Gotta reroll. Oh, man. Could use some bombs right now. That's next thing I'm kind of looking out for. Let's go contract from below. You know you want to pay out with a double a double bomb. I'll probably go end up checking out that um challenge room with the golden chest. Also tempted to take one of those pills. Jeez, that was horrible. Okay. Yeah, playing a little bit sloppy today. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna try to focus up a little bit and stop taking as much damage. I get that doing full clears are probably <laughs> not great considering I'm playing not my best Isaac, but I got three charges off of that room, which means I'd get another Mr. Me use usage. So what I'm going to do is re-roll the room, see if I can get a better item, maybe buy a bomb. I don't know, we'll, we'll make some moves right here. Ooh, do we buy a soul heart though? I think we do. Basically get a free item off of this if Mr. Me can grab it. Nope. Um, we'll try it again. And we'll buy a soul heart. 
Hell yeah. Let's see what we get. Mom's key. Awesome. And now we will do that item, that challenge room, and fight the boss. Getting mom's key is also huge right here. I'm glad that we waited. It means that we're going to get a ton of stuff off of this box. Oh, yeah. Uh, we get a double... We get four, five bombs off of that golden chest. Um, so there's our bomb issue fixed. And because we have the counterfeit penny means that we're probably going to get... I don't know. Even though we only have four cents, we'll probably end up leaving with like six or seven. Depending on how lucky we are. And, yeah, then we're only one charge away from getting another Mr. Me use, which we will get off of the boss. So, yeah, pretty pretty awesome decision to do this room. Now we end up getting seven cents. And if we get a, the ability to fly there, that's like, that'll probably get us up to 18 or something, that, that money in there. So yeah, pretty pretty good uh, caves one. I know that we're not doing great on time, but but hey. Chad, uh, that's fine. I don't really want Chad, but we are gonna take it. If we do get um, that little dude that converts red hearts to soul hearts, will be great. Continue to take just the worst damage ever. Blue candle. Blue candle is good, but not good enough. Trinket smelter. You know, I'm gonna do it. Hell yeah. I think that that's awesome. It basically makes money just so, so much better throughout the rest of this run. And I can go grab, go back and grab that silver dollar, which means we'll be getting more and more shops. So absolutely worth it. I do really wish I could grab that money still, but it doesn't look likely. I have no clue where the secret room... Eh, there's like one or two places I think that the super secret room could be, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to fish for it. Did I buy a card, though? Ace of Hearts. Yuck. Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts just converts all consumables in that room into hearts of any kind. It can be good to get you out of a pinch, but in this scenario, I just wanted to use it. I was really hoping it'd be like a two of diamonds or something. Man, what is... It's killing me. I can't remember the name of the, uh... Dark Bum. Dark Bum is what his name is. The dude who converts the red hearts into soul hearts. Oh, my lord. So, yeah, I'm... I'm officially gonna say I'm playing terribly. <laughs> no doubt about it. I absolutely hate this room. Mom's key is why the chest payouts again are going to be just loaded full of good stuff. I think we already went here, yeah. Wow. This is... So I didn't see that it, um... It opened up and was a different, <laughs> was a spiked chest. Woo! That's kind of dumb. I mean, it was literally blocked. There was no way for me to see it. I would have had to leave the room and re-enter. It's kind of silly.
man, this contract and from below plus um, mom's key combo is pretty devastating considering how many chest drops that we've gotten. That's neat. So now I'm really, really hoping for a dark bum. How I like to deal with these, uh, those worms that shoot at you. Um, I was pretty like, because you kind of wait for them to fire first before before moving, because they like track your movement. So if you're moving in one direction continuously, they will definitely hit you. It's kind of like a funny pattern and pace to it, but once you kind of understand how they how they want to like target you, they don't become so bad. What? Did you guys see that? It was down, that skull, and it fired from nowhere. Oh, Isaac, you cheat. God, if the store has agreed, <laughs> I'd be pretty, pretty upset. <laughs> I mean, our damage is decent. We're not like... I've had far better runs with much better damage, but this should be like totally doable for us. I'm gonna blow you up. Yeah, we were doing phenomenally on money, that's for sure. This room is like one of those sleeper rooms, so I feel like if you don't take it seriously, you can end up taking two or three hits and be like, what, where did I lose all that health? Um, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome room. I am gonna try to steal this compass. If not, we have a full charge in that other room, which I will go grab. Hello, hopefully give us another chance at getting it. And then I'm just going to start re-rolling and hopes to find maybe Black Candle, Champion's Belt, Car Battery, Tarot Cloth. Ugh, twice, dang. Fine, I'll just... Ooh, will I buy it? Yeah, I'll buy it. I'm also going to buy Deep Pockets. Piggy Bank is good, but not good enough. Mr. or Mama Mega. What floor are we on? I'm just gonna buy this and keep moving. I'm gonna think about Mama Mega. I think the super secret room is right to the south of here. No, it can't be. Another full charge. Try to do something with that. I wonder if Mr. Mr. Me can steal devil deals. That is something I have never tried before. Oh, come, come on. Guppy's tail. Guppy's tail means some more chest spawn. Um, this combo is just too, too powerful to pass up. And I think we do have to keep playing the item or the shop for something better. I have another charge on Mr. Me. And if we get full charges, that means I can use basically five cents. Uh, no, I don't think that we try to take Mama Mega. It's good, but not good enough. Let's keep going. Really looking for champion's belt. Black candle. Dang. 
Yeah, we'll just move on, save this money for the next floors. We have even more shops, which I am happy about with the silver dollar. We got everything. Yeah, let's head on down. Oh yeah, we got the compass, which is very dope. Means I get to know where I'm going. <sighs> Fuck. Really do not want to take damage. This is the hardest room in the game, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> oh my god, thank god we had enough red hearts, or enough black hearts to take a hit. Man, yeah, we need something, something soon. But something like really good soon. We're getting kind of like all these kind of like non factor items that are objectively good, but like not what we need in order to survive. I mean, I appreciate all these red hearts, but I can't really do anything with them. Absolutely hate hate those these guys. There we go. This is really, really tempting. This is really, really, really tempting. Also, four girdlings in a in a room. That's so stupid. <sighs> I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking that might the D4 might be the move here. And before I even <sighs> I think we do it. <laughs> Get little brim. I don't know if this will be the final, but I think this is actually a better spot. We have higher damage than we did in our last run or our last setup. We also get school bag, which means I can take two items. I wonder if it'll reroll my second, um, my second item when I have school bag, or if it will just like totally disappear. I actually think that this is a better spot to be in than our last run, or our last roll, so I'll stick with this for a little bit. Yeah, a little brim alone is like enough to make me want to stick with this. I love, I love me some little brim. Also, like, got some really, really good movement speed going on. Thank you. Oh, we also have the we have Roid Rage or um, the transfer to Spun from having all the syringes. So that's partially where all this damage is coming from. Uh, we'll take Belly Button. I don't even want you. And let's head down. So the D100 kind of saved us in our last run, then the D D4 is like coming to the rescue in this one. Uh, kind of love it. What do we got here? Resistance. Resi resistance is good. I I'll use it for... I can't use it for this boss. Um, ooh, Black Rune. I'm tempted to just void whatever. No, I want all the I, I want the items. Cool.
Yeah, our, our damage is really, really nice right now. Oh, uh, we lose the compass, which is sad. Um, but the extra damage is actually, like, far better than whatever the compass effect would do does. We also lost Mom's key. I'm glad the D4 doesn't reroll your trinkets either. Um, nice. Didn't even have to do that. The sun. We use the sun here. Get another sun card. Crazy, I'm gonna go. Uh, I mean, I could probably win with, with this setup right here, so I'm trying to think how, how many times I want to reroll. It's always a hard question. Um, when do you stop rerolling when you can reroll as many times as you want? I think I just buy this and ooh, it's neat. Ooh, I don't really want duct tape. I'm just gonna drop it. Um, I think we say goodbye. We use Mr. Me right here to see if we can get another item. I don't know what you are. I'm taking it. PhD. Okay. Power pill. I think we actually hold on to mom's box and hope that we get a really good, another really good trinket or something. What are you? Another power pill. No, <laughs> I can't get in here. I don't have a bomb. Give us a bomb, game. Yikes. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Well, there's a scent. Let's see what you got. Nope. Mom's box. Actually, I think we can void these now. Ooh, but okay I have the items I want void got a luck up and uh, I do want this so we're spending a soul heart on I don't really know maybe get another Emperor card I'm tempted to just re-roll again, just be for the for the hell of it. We will see what the we'll see what the devil deal gives us, and then we'll make a decision from there. Get a bomb. for like curved horn obviously um, from mom's box Ooh, a charged key didn't even know karma no thank you check out what this item is and then head over to the mom fight and think about if we want to reroll <laughs> curse of the tower <laughs> 
Woo, super happy I went back for that. Now I'm seriously considering uh, re-rolling. We're gonna hold on to the Emperor card. Pretty good, actually. Take the Polaroid. Try to get rid of these red hearts. That'll do it. Maw the Boy will definitely do it. <sighs> Hard to imagine re rolling now. Uh, Maw the Boy is just so good. Yep, let's head on down. I don't know, if we get to like a single soul heart, I'll probably re roll. <laughs> Crystal lost. I hate you. We've gotten pretty bad curse curses on this on this run so far. Bat wing. I think it has a chance of giving you flying when you get hit in a room. When you die with that, you have a chance of coming back as the lost. Or I think it's if you kill yourself in the sacrifice room, you come back as the lost. I can't really remember. We have good pills, so I'm gonna try to grab. No, I'm not gonna use my bombs on this. I'm keeping an eye out for tinted rocks, though, because um, I do want the health. Ooh, Ankh is kind of good. Broken Ankh gives you a chance to revive if you die. I'll think about it. Also, Maw the Void not paying out once yet. can be really, really annoying. Wow. That was super, super sketch. <laughs> Filigree feather. It'd be good, but we can't get any angel rooms. Also, do not go over there. These rooms are the worst because you can't see creep. Um, I'm glad I noticed that that was a creep um, brain before before running all the way over there. I think super secret room is right to the north of here. Um, okay, dude. Definitely want to keep our Polaroid invincibility. Find our way to the boss, though. And it's the Matriarch. Thank God for... having <laughs> Polaroid invincibility. Oh my God. I feel like we have to take magic mush oh my god it's just like the fattest damage up ever <laughs> that's like the one time I will break my rule of being like I'm gonna get rid of Polaroid invincibility um, it is so freaking good also we look kind of dumb why is my body glowing like that going like big and small I've never seen that before I wonder what's causing that to happen. So yeah, losing Polaroid invincibility is stinks. But I'm really hoping we can gain it back. No. 
Uh, no, nah, we'll, we'll keep what we, what we got. Burnt Penny. Isaac's heart. If it was four gold chests, maybe. Still gonna try to keep our eye out for any tinted rocks. They're really, really hard to see in the womb, but... This is the best rotation when they're going the same direction. As you want to be going in the room, it's much worse when you have to, like, counter, counter move with them. Just looking for a tinted rock real quick. Nope. Our damage is really good. Really, really good. Still think that we don't we haven't gotten a single payout from Ma the Void. Yeah, this room stinks. We do finally get a black heart though, off of Ma the Void. Dead end. I mean we're in really good shape. I'd love to get rid of this red heart. That's the only complaint I have right now. Got another one, though. Let's go. I think treasure map. And just a soul heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, game. So, yep, we went every single wrong direction, but at least now we know where we need to go. Secret room is probably, probably to the right of here, if I had to guess. Probably just stop firing. Man, I might go back to the shop now with all of this money. I mean, we're good, probably, but... It, we do keep getting crazy money. We're gonna get another soul heart off of this version of Larry. Poker chip. I think Poker Chip is doubling, it doubles the amount of consumable drops from chests, but it's either you get double or you get nothing, so it's a, it's like a bet. Oh lord. Oh man. I would actually love to get Blanket. Um, I'm gonna check out the Cursed Room. Yep. So we just lost <laughs> three Soul Hearts the quickest way possible. <laughs> Don't do what I did right there. That was pretty dumb. I'm not even gonna try to get Blanket. It's silly. We don't need it. Yeah. All right, hoping to get rid of this red heart right here, and not gonna happen. We will hold on to the trinket box because it's it's more fun. I'm a little upset that we lost <laughs> three soul hearts so quickly like that. Um, 
but that was just me being, being a little too cocky. Ooh. Yes. So now we don't need the, um, the silver dollar anymore. We got our use out of it. Man, I gotta say, the um, faded Polaroid is doing work for us. I'll wait to grab that. Didn't look at the, <laughs> the map too well there. Doing a few extra rooms here by accident because of it. Okay, is there a way to get? Will this get all three of those fires? Just two. So it could be up or down from here, uh, the boss room. Kind of just a guess. Yeah, got lucky. I think we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. I think Magic Mush actually is making this run so much easier. Uh, the damage multiplier is too big to overlook. I mean, having the invincibility from the Polaroid is, is awesome, but what's even better is having sweet damage. Look at Isaac, he looks crazy. I've never seen this before, His, him like pulsing like this. What's it from? Do we have the heart or something? No, we don't have the heart. I don't know, this is funky though. I kind of, I'm kind of into it. Oh, 2020. That's that's pretty much game right there. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the D4 right now. Egghead or Conehead. Yeah, I mean we are. We're talking money. I'll, I'm gonna clear some rooms because I could obviously go to the boss right now, but this will be kind of fun to play with and mess around. Maybe we'll get some more cool items. Man, is this Guppy? No. Yeah, feels good. Maggie's bow. Um, it's cool because if you get hit, you have a chance of you get the um, wafer ability, but I don't want it. I don't want more red hearts. But give me this money. Mom's pearl. This 2020 pickup is awesome. Fine, whatever. Join the team. Yeah, this run was uh, definitely a weird one. I felt like I was honestly just playing poorly the entire time. Like, it wasn't even that bad. I just was not playing well. You know, when that happens, 
Uh, we get the mind again. I think we got the mind last run or one before. Can't fully remember. Let's check out these secret rooms. Yeah, I'll pay. Honestly, every chest we get here is an item, so... Cool to use, like, almost all my keys right now. Sure. Farting baby. I mean, BFF is bad. I'm not gonna play this. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were... I was just struggling to stay focused on where enemies were moving and how to set myself up, so it happens. Uh, we did power through. I think as the situations kind of got sketchier and sketchier, I tried to tighten it up as best as I could. And, you know, the, the G4 kind of saved her, but... <laughs> Power of a reroll. Blank card. I mean, I love me some blank card, but right now, nah. Golden poop. Pink eye. Poisons enemies has a chance of shooting poison shots. Damn. This isn't the, the parasitoid. Holy crap. Look at how many flies we're producing. Still waiting for Curve Torn. If we do get Curve Torn, it's GG. Okay, we are, we are shooting so many um, parasitoid shots, though. It's like almost like we have Guppy. I'm not sure if it's because we have such good luck, or... Wow. I'm re-rolling. I'm gonna re-roll this room. Yeah, join the squad. More followers? Heck yeah. Also, I love the little Transformer guy we have following us. Little, little Optimus. It's hella cute. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and what, yeah, win number 16, incredible. Um, D D4 kind of saving our butt, but, you know, powered through, and so yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Okay, bye.